And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain Plank. That's what we're calling this deck because we are uh, putting Swain and Plank together. So we got Swain Plank. Um, or Swain and Gangplank, I guess. But yeah, so this is going to be an aggressive deck where we are trying to you know, not only do damage to our opponent um, in five different rounds to level up Gangplank, but also just do a bunch of non-combat damage in general to level up Swain. Uh, this deck looks pretty good. This was a a deck that a viewer um, submitted yesterday that they said looked good and they wanted me to try. And I think they said, if I remember correctly, that it was a Mogwai deck as well. So um, yeah, so it looks pretty good. So I didn't change anything. Wanted to just play the, the deck as is. I am very skeptical on City Breaker, as y'all know, if you you know like listen to like my set review. I'm not, not too big on this card, but um if if your opponent does stabilize and it's a longer game it can you know like that that damage will add up so you know it can do a good amount of damage over time um you know we'll have to see and you know that that uh round you know it does help enable the gangplank level up and the swain level up so we'll kind of see but there's a lot of good cards in here and uh it'll be interesting same with like more powder you know i'm very skeptical that two powder kegs are worth like a, a card you know, playing playing one card, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Let's let's give it a try. All right, so uh, we got this ready to go. Let's go play some ranked. Here we go. First time playing Swain. We're gonna be playing some more Swain tomorrow. Definitely. Uh, we're just kind of doing you know bilge water day with you know all all of our decks being having some kind of bilge water in them. But yeah, I definitely want to play some more Swain tomorrow. Sorry, Rex, you get to, you're gonna be mulliganed. And we'll mulligan Gangplank also. And make it rain. Let's just keep this demolitionist, see what else we get. I assume we have We don't have Crimson Disciple? I was kind of mulliganing looking for Crimson Disciple. Because I would assume that we would have Crimson Disciple in this deck, but I guess not. Hmm. Well, I guess this is going to be our two drop then. Very good. Remember the objectives. For the glory of yeah, I could play another more powder, but all we're doing is spending two mana to do two damage to them at that point. <laughs> These more powders are looking pretty bad. Yeah, if we can get a if we can stay alive to eight mana for Riptide Rex, see deck hand. This is what I needed. Oh right, they just right. These things are vulnerable. I guess I should have done that. Okay, well those those more powders were. <laughs> so we just spent two cards to do absolutely nothing. So that's great. We're not always going to hit Allegiance with this deck, but it's just uh, the Yordle Grifter is a, a pretty decent card even if we don't hit Allegiance. Yeah, I mean, I definitely need to wait on the more, the more powders. We're playing three of them? Uh, I mean, I need to wait till 
till like whenever I Riptide Rex. Dreg Dredgers. Is that the worst card for us to get? That could be. That could be the worst card for us to hit. Brayfin, lure the depths combo. Okay, okay. More powder plus make it rain can do something. I can do something. Now we're talking. Come on, kill this thing. Yes. I could have gone for the, we're definitely killing that thing by doing the Noxian Fervor. Oh no, oh that makes that, oh no, that makes that deep. Uh. Ouch. So I guess Noxian Fervor wouldn't have worked anyway. Willing just to trade it all out. No, no, no. Say this to do three damage to them, with them being at 13. I kind of feel like it. I kind of think we can take this six and not die. Okay, actually, we're just dead, aren't we? So we can, because yeah, they're just going to cast a whole bunch of stuff for free. They've played two Lure of the Depths and now Nautilus. Okay, well, I didn't play Powder of the Death, or I didn't play um, the Powder card very good. But with that being said, it looked horrible. It looked like a complete waste, but 
I also didn't get the most out of it, so that's that's hard on me. Oh, that was a black market merchant. I thought that was the another eight drop. Man, I'm I'm not on my game today. I'm not on my game today. No, I didn't see a new c cinematic today. That's a good draw, just a, a two mana card that we get to play before these things. Got a surprise for him. Cause the thing about a lot of our two drops, well, two of our different two drops are cards that we don't want to play on at turn two. Yeah, they're going to do two to all my stuff. Yep. That's probably worth it. Probably worth it. Wonder why they didn't play this card right away. How you know they didn't play that card right away and instead um, buy us some time. Instead passed to me first, I wonder why. And play the investigator. I honestly don't really want them to draw that extra card. Where do you stand on cold shots? I, uh, I feel like they're gonna do a lot more with the extra card than I never disclose my me. Uh, but I'm kind of stuck here, so I guess we'll draw an extra card now. Gonna do one damage to all my stuff. Something for all. Uh, yeah, they can't counter or anything. I'm basically just cycling this. Ye be warned. I think. I guess no, because it, it may not actually cycle. Because they could kill, like, both powder kegs, I guess. And then keep that thing alive. I guess they could do that.
That doesn't kill both of them, though, right? It kills both of them? Oh, because they... How they stack? Alright, well, I'm glad I didn't play the Yeebie Warned. Oh, slow, slow. Anyway, that makes sense. This thing as burst speed would be ridiculous. I just feel like they're going to thermogenic beam my gangplank if I just play it right now. I don't really want that to happen. Hey, Marpaletti. Hey. So if they, if they kill the powder keg, um, then we don't kill their chump lump. So I, I do not want them to kill the, the powder keg. All right, cool. Why did, why did they gain three life? They've taken more damage. I'm always up for a round or two. No, I guess they were at 14, so yeah, no, that, that makes sense. That works. Alright, Gangplank's about to be leveled up after we Riptide Rex. Let's go. Oh, it's a Plunder Trigger! I forgot! No, I forgot about the Plunder Trigger. Oh no. Puppy. That's my first time playing this card and I'm so excited because I've never seen it played and I'm so excited. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, sad times. Doesn't just do that. You have to plunder. Firing. So they had the thermogenic beam that I talked about. They've had that. Basically doing this to give them priority. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Mm. 
I don't like that they still have five mana left. they do use thermogenic beam here then we'll be doing the yibi warned on the 2-2 and and going that if not maybe we can kill the ezreal i guess we can kind of see what they do let them think it's love all right well actually we probably have to kill the twisted fate because twisted fate's going to level up now this next turn because they're going to draw four cards so yeah we just have to kill twisted fate Let's see, this does two. Yeah, it's true. We can parlay it with the with this mystic shot. Or with, with that thing. Okay, well. how this is going to work because round round start we make a powder keg and then also round start we do one to the enemy nexus so which order do they go in i guess i guess they go left to right on the board Twenty-three out of twelve. That's not a fraction that you see very much. Mm. Yeah, get rid of that static shock. I'll be surprised if we untap and survive. I'll be surprised. I wish this had like an ETB effect, but it's just, uh, but it's not that, so, oh, I can play them both, oh, I can play them both. See nothing left when I'm done. Just the of a right, because the powder keg stack. Yeah, they only have four mana for now. No, you can't rearrange the board units. You can in combat. That is an awesome level up. Alright, so we're likely dead, because we're at four, so all they have to do is cast two other spells, or just one burn spell. Well. This would kill him. But, they're gonna kill me in response. 
Man, Ezreal has been wrecking me today. <laughs> Alright, you know, obviously I messed this this game up with that turn with the... Yeah, I obviously messed this up with the turn with the uh, the, plun the seven mana plunder card. This game's so difficult. You make one little mistake like that. Like, these... These decks you play against are so good that you make one little mistake, you lose. And that was the mistake. I, I played my 7-drop and I didn't get the plunder trigger. Um, you know, obviously I need to play a Gangplank that turn, find a way to turn on the plunder before playing that card. Yeah, because there's there's no uh, the games are so close because both people always curve out, both people always have a whole lot of good cards and everything, and so it really is a, a skill decides kind of game. Like if you if you make a mistake, you're getting punished. Yeah, you know, if your opponent doesn't make mistakes, you know my opponent played really good. They had a, a very good deck. They played very good. They win. That's also what makes the the game really enjoyable. How you don't have so many non games, like other card games. Like your every game, every game is close and and uh, everything. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about Petty Officer either. I don't I don't think this card is probably that good either. Like I said, like this was this was a viewer submitted deck that we're playing. There's there's a lot of cards that I am skeptical about in here. And yeah, Petty Officer is definitely one of them. I am quite skeptical on Petty Officer. You think it's pretty good? Professor Von Yip. They should have the Professor Von Yip challenge the zero one barrel. Okay, oh, they're just gonna do that. I was thinking that they're gonna attack with the other, like just do like normal attacks with the three threes, but I guess they don't want me blocking with with these cards. I don't even know if it's good if it's really that good to play Swain. I mean they're just gonna trade two three threes for a Swain. been warned. That's a great card. Oh, that will let me kill this Professor Von Yip. Yep, yep, yep. Which, what am I doing? We could, we could have already killed the Professor Von Yip with this thing that we just drew. Probably 
probably should have. So I'm going to try this way, and then if they have removal for my thing, and then we'll have the Noxion Fervor, but I would like this Noxion Fervor to kill the Teemo. Alright, so we know they don't have any kind of interaction. Because they didn't use anything. So this should resolve. It should be safe to play. Alright, Swain's up to seven. Gangplank's at two. <laughs> two City Breaker triggers. They have a warning shot just in their deck? Oh, no, no, it just creates the warning shot. Right, right, right. We didn't hit Allegiance, so we didn't get a card from their deck. Right. That's how the card works. Of course, this is just a level up Swain. Because maybe we don't have that chance again if they just attack um, with the elusive unit. Now, next turn, we'll play the Swain. Like, if we get, I mean, if we actually connect with Swain, it's going to be amazing, but it's just not very likely that we connect with Swain. So we're taking seven. What am I doing? Why don't I block with the 2-2? Two -two? Well, this is a way to get Swain, to have Swain do damage. Long to. Oh, this thing costs three, not two. Uh, that's a bummer. Why do I think that thing costs two? So does this not work in combat? How it says the strongest back row enemy? Like if they if they just attack, you know, if they go straight to attacks, do we get to stun their thing? Is this not gonna work in combat?
It doesn't work in combat? Oh, no. Well, that's... That's a problem. I was kind of assuming it was going to be working in combat. But then... Yeah, I guess it's not going to, is it? Yeah, this card... You know, if, if we can survive... This card's going to be great. This is just the safest way to do it. Instead of the make it rain, which is not safe. Um. So how does how does uh, how is this going to work? Oh, no. Oh, this... My powder keg's going to go... I was going to say, how's the powder keg going to work with this? But the powder keg's going to go away. Anyway. So, I guess we... Let's just throw this thing down. No, because... They, they'll just counter this. Okay, yeah, the set, so seven different skills go on the stack. We may kill them. They're gonna have a lot of stuff stunned. That's my that's my plan right now, is stun all sorts of things. That thing's stunned. Yeah, we could possibly have Swain connect. This will stun this 4 2. Because each one of these, you know, deal 2 to a unit, or then if it's dead, do 1 up here. So each time that there's 1 up there, it's going to stun stuff. Indecision is the first of many. Definitely been learning a whole lot today with the new cards. Definitely been learning a whole lot. All right, so they played something, so those go away. Those get countered. Uh, these will all still happen. Everything's done. Alright, burst spell. Stun that. Go to attacks. This thing can still block here. But hopefully this hits. Then Nexus Strike deal 3 to all enemies. Which kills him. Alright, look at that. There you go, Swain. All right, so now that I know what our cards do. <laughs> well, 
I actually used the crocodile correctly this time. <laughs> Waited until we had plunder for Riptide Rex. Maokai Twisted Fate. That sounds sweet. Yeah, that was a turn right there. Alright, we'll get rid of one Swain. And... We'll keep these. That was sweet. Make it rain. I've whipped up something special. Got a surprise. I don't have anything I'm playing next turn anyway, so I think I can wait. Make it rain next turn and then play the merchant with the plunder. Getting good cards. Again. Go on then. Alright, so we get a fleeting card. Okay, so the fleeting card is the City Breaker, so it looks like we're playing City Breaker. Get bloody, get paid. Yeah, Maokai with powder kegs. To be you know, units that die for Maokai. Time to make some calls. That does sound pretty sweet. Be nothing left when I'm done. Come on, attack with more things. There you go. No, keep attacking. So four damage for the Swain. Fear the power. Well, if they want to play their Maokai, then they're not blocking Swain. They have to play a fearsome, you know, something to block fearsome. So we're putting some pressure on him. The current cards do not block Fearsome. Alright, they're just going with the Maokai. No that didn't level up. We need one more damage. We play in build rules. Some... Level up. Let's go, Swain. Probably Pilferd Goods and Yordle Grifter. Start trying to kill this Maokai. With Death's Hand plus Ravenous Flock. No, well, wait. Are we going to stun that thing? This is gonna stun Maokai, is it? Oh no, it's no, it's gonna stun this this thing. For the glory of no, it's not stunning Maokai. Yeah. 
No, no, yeah, City Breaker doesn't lose life, but it, yeah, so it can just sit there and do one damage over and over. Heal. Let's go. Let's go. Ravenous flock. I'm sorry. Let's go. They can't block Swain. Swain's gonna do lots of damage. All right, Swain looked pretty good that game. When your opponent's not playing removal and just playing a, a whole bunch of little things, can't block Swain. All right, all right, we're two and two. We're two and two. All right, make it rain, make it rain. We got the Swain Gangplank Mirror. I'm not sure, like, I don't know if we're supposed to mulligan make it rain for this matchup. I don't know. Yeah, final boss mirror match. Let's get that win in record. Let's go. All right. For the Empire. I can definitely see them holding on to make it rain. They're passing, hoping that I played something and they were going to make it rain. Death's hand. And so I wanted them to do their thing first, and then I was going to try to kill their pow powder keg. Perfect. Play something. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. That'll do. Strike at their foundations. All right, Swain's almost there. This is a really good novel. Say a new no Uta. Not sure how it's pronounced, but um. basically basically doing this because it's a slow speed, or you know, basically just give them priority. Again. I really want to do the Noxion Fervor, kill this thing. Hmm. I 
want to kill their Swain. And I don't want them to be able to block my Swain. But it's just, it's difficult. So I assume they kill my ally, then um, my plan goes out the window. Yeah, I can do three to the keg and then three to something else. And the, I mean, that's that's like my best thing. But then all they all they do is play a removal spell on my keg, and then and then this didn't work. Yeah, yeah, if it, the first part fizzled, then the whole thing would fizzle. It's gonna do four. I wish I would have just targeted their Swain first now. I need Swain to level up. Just like that. Now there's a stunned. They can't block mine. And then Nexus Strike, do three to all enemies. Okay, it's a it's a horror novel. Okay. Get him, Swain. Awesome. First time I've seen that connect. That looked pretty cool. Yeah, it's done was pretty clutch. Remember the objectives. For the glory of Noxus. No, don't kill stuff. Oh no. We get a random card, hopefully it's just a unit. Yeah. All right, we're three and two. Defeated the final boss. Get that last win. Gasco! Getting the Twitch Prime sub in here. Y'all get some hype. We got our first sub of the day. Thank you so much there, Smile. Let me update that also. Yeah, did we start we start O2 and then and then work our way back? So there's definitely some powerful stuff in here. Swain looked pretty decent and there's there's uh a good amount of uh you know damage things that I like, but there's other things that I that I really don't like. More powder. This doesn't really look like a playable card. Um, I think we really need Qu Crimson Disciples in here. Like, I think we just kind of need, like, some more Noxus cards. Less, um, yeah, basically we need some more Noxus cards. Like, Crimson Disciples, just a great two-drop. I feel like we should have, like, Transfusion 
in here also like just some more stuff that that makes swain good um that's like the first thing is is good like that's a huge upgrade changing that of course we do have to worry about um yordle grifter like is this card really even worth it if if it's just four mana three three create a warning shot i guess we're at like half of the time allegiance um you know i don't know um probably it's still good enough at that point like the yeah like that's probably still good enough but that's something just right away that I wanted to change those two drops. Riptide Rex looked good. City Breaker actually looked pretty good. I would say that it played better than I imagined it would. Especially how it's just, you know, every single round. It's not just like the beginning of your turn. Deal one, it's every single turn. So, you know, you're, each turn cycle, you're doing two damage. So it looks pretty good. But between Challenger, Vulnerable, it doesn't really trade with cards. Both Death Hand and Noxion Fervor. I like both of these cards quite a bit. Yeah, exactly. Yordle really helps your Rex out by getting that warning shot. That warning shot can be real valuable in that respect. Um, Death Lotus looked better than I expected it to. And it did a good job of um, turning on Swain. And uh, that, you know, like that damage. Death Lotus seems like it's gone up in value with, um, like, Make It Rain, you know, to combine with Make It Rain and also with uh, Misfortune. Just this kind of deck, but more aggressive, but like with Misfortune. Um, you know, doing, doing one with Death Lotus, one with Misfortune, getting stuff. Gangplank wasn't bad. It was, you know, it was, it was, it was perfectly fine. We never leveled up Gangplank in this, this one. Um, Gangplank looked better in the, the Bilgewater deck that we played right before this. We did get to level it up and, uh, but it was okay. I don't know if like Misfortune may have been better than Gangplank. Potentially, but, you know, 5 mana, 5-5. Five, five. Do you need 3? I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. Like, I could I could even see, like, Twisted Fate maybe being better. You know, you get, like, that, that red card with it, and then, you know, you can use it for the blue card. I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying it's definitely a necessity. You know, maybe even Vladimir. I don't know. But it was fine. Like, the Overwhelm's really nice. Overwhelm definitely makes this card a lot better than it would be otherwise. Um, it's good. It's good. There's just a lot of good champions, so I don't. I don't know. Like, basically, besides Fizz, any of the other champions I could I could see playing. So, do you need three gang planks? Probably not. You could probably, you know, switch it up. Just basically. Yeah, Twisted Fate can just go in any deck because it's so versatile. Um, you know, Draven, Misfortune, these are good. Like, Draven and Misfortune are, are good uh, champions also. Vladimir is not bad. So, anyway, there we go. That's that's some Swain Plank for you. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you're playing a deck like this or, or anything similar, you know, let you know leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck or uh, anything that you want to see played. Uh, feel free to uh, leave those. Oh, also, um, donation decks. I guess I, just, I guess I don't mention those too often, but um, I always like the suggestions. But if you definitely want your deck played and you want your deck played at a specific time, like time, like day and time slot, it's a ten dollar donation, um, and then I will be playing your deck five games and ranked and talking about it and making a YouTube video and everything like that. The donation link is in the YouTube uh, section. You know, like the um, the info. Um, and it's also on the info panel here on Twitch. So um, that's always open all the time for donation decks. All right, but uh, that's it here for Swain Plank. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.